depths of hell could have forged a diamond this special. Alright, so we got to creep down here, guys. And uh, there's a parking lot. The guy says that he wants us to deliver to. Apparently he had a delivery here yesterday. I wasn't on the clock yesterday. So funny story. Tuesday I went out to uh, near Providence, Rhode Island to go look at a truck for my buddy, uh, my business partner. He was buying a, a box truck from, uh, from a company out that way. And uh, I went out there, did a pre-trip on that truck. I noticed that there was some some oil on the truck on the differential which is you know what spins the tires for those of you who don't know and uh, yeah, I noticed some oil it was still wet and uh, also the brake pads were soaked long story short my buddy was driving out here six hours by me driving out to Providence or wherever that truck was located would have saved them a three hour round trip. Uh, so I went out there, scoped out the truck. My buddy was already five hours into his drive before uh, before I told him that this truck wasn't safe to go. And up oh, there it goes. That looks like our drop location. So I think I'm gonna pull up and then off go behind it. Um, put my hazards on. So yeah, so I ended up driving out there, uh, well, catching a lift ride out there, and uh, you know the truck wasn't wasn't safe and it wasn't you know ready for transport, and then also some other some other things had to get addressed on the truck. But yeah, after my work day on Tuesday, I was driving home, stopped off at the mall real quick, and then um, I started my truck back up and my truck had a check engine light so i called penske west haven and uh they sent out a well i called penske roadside i'm sorry i called penske roadside they sent out a um a service unit and he located you know the, the issue with the problem uh, i'm at the issue with the truck um and then they sent a tow truck to pick up the truck and bring it down to get serviced and then they told me that they were going to bring the truck back the same day and tow it back up to me and uh that wasn't the case i ended up not getting my truck back until about 10 a.m yesterday and you know i was told that it was going to get towed back to me the same the same night so i ended up not working yesterday that's why there wasn't a that's why there wasn't an upload for yesterday it has been a couple days since my last upload because um or my last video because it's either been not that crazy or i haven't been working or i don't feel like you guys are going to learn anything from it and i didn't really have any good stories to tell and i haven't really been in the mood to start recording but yeah we're gonna hop out this truck and get this going so like I said I got the 20 footers right there and let me just adjust the GoPro make sure you guys can see it I'm hoping I'm catching some good footage for y'all my phone I gotta get a separate phone for just for this GoPro but yeah, so yes, uh, Tuesday I ended up taking out all my equipment out the truck and uh, ended up taking out all my equipment out the truck, all my edge protectors and everything and my DEF fluid just to get the truck back, uh, you know, the same unit back because they said that if they couldn't repair it the same night that they were going to replace the unit. And I was like, well, I don't want to be without equipment so I took everything out so but yeah so we got double stack 20 footers so uh I've expressed it time and time again some you know the stores that I go to that each bunk needs to be banded separately 
as you can see that the top bunk or the very very top bunk still has the green factory bands on it and then they banded that top bunk to the second bunk and each bunk is banded together also banded individually so just in case i have to separate it because it's too heavy i could go ahead and safely do so so because i can't see over to the other side and there's through traffic on the other side i'm not going to uh i'm not gonna throw it completely over i'll just throw it on top of the load so yeah guys leave it down in the comment section you know um how, how your week's been what you guys been up to and uh any content you guys would like to see i do have this uh this uh new thing that i want to do i bought forklift extensions um possibly for a multi-purpose use um you know i'll see i'll see how it goes but uh i do have to pick up my subaru from the shop in a couple of days uh, as soon as they call me when it's ready i ordered the forklift extensions off of uh amazon because i was going to order them off of uline but uline wanted like i don't know almost two three hundred bucks plus shipping i mean it would have got here it would have got here by today but i'm not really in a rush because i don't have any use for them at the moment but it might help with the fencing that's the fencing season that's coming up this year and uh you know some other projects and stuff so i just got to figure out where i can secure the uh i'm thinking about just putting them back there behind those two you know but behind the two diagonal beams but yeah just strap them up there maybe drill like a hole or two in them uh somewhere where it's not going to mess with the integrity of them the the structural integrity of the of the forklift extensions just so that i could put like a carabiner or something like that onto it so with this with this site i can't go out that way because they have a one of those drop down uh bar gates or whatever you want to call it and it only stays open for one for one car length at a time uh it's about 30 degrees this morning so my straps are kind of frozen so This material here is 20 foot pressure treated. Uh, for those of you who don't know, pressure treated is wood with like a greenish or yellowish hue to it. And that's some type of chemical that makes it uh, like weather resistant. And uh, I guess they pump a chemical into it that makes it also like bug resistant. So bugs don't want to eat it like termites and stuff. I mean, and then, uh, I, I have heard that if you are going to install this as a part of like, you know, fencing or something uh, and you wanted to stain it or if you wanted to put it on your deck and you wanted to paint it, uh, you have to wait, I think like a whole season or something like that just for, just for, I don't know, like the pressure treated to cure or something. I don't know. Look into it. I don't, I don't know the specifics but uh there are some people who build their deck with the trex decking and uh trex decking gets very very hot in the summertime so a lot of people like you know the natural wood or not really natural but pressure treated wood because it doesn't absorb heat like the trex deck so uh, I guess everything has its pros and its cons. So, yep, so we're gonna get up on the forklift. I'm not gonna put my seatbelt on just yet. So, we gotta wait for the orange light. Uh, 
set the brakes. What I'm gonna do guys, because the load is very heavy, I'm going to spread the forks. I'm gonna spread them out all the way just to help balance the weight. Somebody remind me to grease the thing. The next Home Depot I go to, I'll go pick up a, a can of a WD-40 or PD blaster or something. gotta figure out where I want to put it I think I know but I think I'm gonna put it on the far side of that lumber there the side shift left I gotta put my stabilizers down because this load is gonna be very heavy. And as you can see, it's heavier on that side than it is on this side. So I'm just gonna pull it to the edge real quick. I'm gonna set it down, pull my forks back, uh, my uh, stabilizers back up, tilt forward. Try to grab it a little bit more on this side. Stabilizers down. And as you can see, it wants to be more heavy on that side. You see how it's kind of bobbling. So this could be kind of dangerous when you're trying to go in a hurry, but since I don't have anybody rushing me right now, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take my time and do it right. And even if that, even if that means, you know, readjusting my forks a couple times, just to try to get it, just to try to get it where it needs to go. Stabilizers down, pick up. All right, right there, it's about balanced. This is a very heavy load. So with this, you just wanna take your time. Lift up, clear the trailer. Once you clear the trailer, you want to get the load as low as you can possibly go. Just probably about right there, just so that you have a clear field of view. You got to come in wide for the turn. Always watch your swing. Right there should be about enough space. I'm gonna lock the brakes, stabilizers down. I'm gonna bring this down before I bring it out. So stabilizers are fully lowered right now. And the machine still wants a rock. That's how you know this load is really heavy. So 
so I'm gonna push it away from me. And I put it on the curb just so that it's, it's not hanging out of the parking space that, that much. Um, and I push it away from me so that way I can pull my stabilizers back up safely without damaging the lumber. I'm gonna take off the brakes. successful delivery I'm gonna come back to the truck put the machine back up on the excuse me trailer lock the brakes put the machine back up on the trailer but the uh You want to make sure your, your forks are fully extended. Leg lines up. And that's it. Alright, so I'll be back guys.